The Cubs over under for win total was 96 and a half wins. It's a lot. Yeah. Are you going over or under on that? Uh, I'd probably go over. My normal instinct in, in these spots would be to go opposite of what happened a year ago. But I think that number is low enough. If it were 98, 99, I mean, almost everything has to go right to win 100 games. But a lot would have to go wrong with this Cubs team to not win 97 plus. I think they'll get there. I mean, you could talk about the competition maybe being better around the National League. Fine. I still think, though, the Cubs should be a 97, minimum, 97 win team. And if you bet the under in this spot, Alexa, and I've been there before, <laughs> you'd be surprised how quickly those wins creep up on you. And all of a sudden, they're at 94, 95 wins with a week to go, and they get there. And I don't think they're going to win as many as they won last year, but they should be able to get that over number. All right. I'm going to give you my answer in a second. We're going to hear from these guys first and maybe see if that changes your opinion at okay. all. Here's Jake Arrieta and Chris Bryant on photo day of the Cubs. My mindset, and you know, I think it's kind of reverberating throughout the clubhouse, is that you know, having won the World Series last year, you know, it makes you almost hungrier to, to get back to that moment uh, and try and accomplish this, the same thing again. You know, if somebody's got to win it, you know, why not us? So that's, uh, that's, the, way, that's the way I approach the situation. And, uh, you know, I think everyone in that clubhouse feels the same way. You know, just going through what we went through last year, it was so much fun that you want to do it again. So that's kind of been my motivation all off season. And, into spring training is that we just want to get to that that level again and experience again. So we're excited for it. I think it's really interesting that Jake Arrieta said that they're hungry to do it again because yeah. they just did it. Sounds but nice. It sounds nice, but in my mind, how can you be hungrier now than you were last season? I don't think it gets any well, better you, than that. If you taste a great burger, right? Right. You're just like, well, I'm good. Or you like, I want that burger again. But so, it's never going to be as good as the first bite that you No, took. no, but you still maybe do want to chase that, you know, chase that first burger that you had. So, it, I mean, I understand the comments. It's just hard to get everybody on the same page again. All the luck that has to fall into place to be able to go through, you know, the regular season and dominate the way that he did, have success in the postseason, the way things lined up and who they're facing and all those different things, and get lucky in the World Series that they were down three games to one. So a lot had to go right. That's why it's hard to repeat in sports. So I think that certain guys will be as hungry, maybe hungrier, because they had a taste of that championship. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, I think the desperation of wanting to taste it for the first time wins out over wanting to taste it again. I think there are just some other teams in the league right now who are better than the Cubs only because, you know, if you look at a team like the Dodgers, they are set and deep offensively and defensively on the squad. There are, and they're a team that's absolutely hungry. I think Clayton Kershaw is going to let this team, you know, waste away in the postseason year after year. You better believe not. And the, also the Nationals are another team who, you know, they had this huge win total, but you turn around and you look at what have they done in the postseason, they're eventually going to get over the hump. They can't sit at, you know, just barely breaking through year after year after year uh, you know and I look and you look at the Indians too adding Edwin Encarnacion is a huge addition for them that's gonna change their lineup completely especially with him and his bat in the middle of the order and then you look at the Red Sox the Red Sox made so many moves they got Chris Sale now there on the mound there's just been so many additions to so many different teams and they look different this year I think that that's gonna change the landscape of baseball pretty drastically you know one thing too and I know the Mets weren't pictured there with their ones I think they're at 88 or something like that's so their win total mm -hmm. Mets have been the Cubs kryptonite. I mean, they swept yeah. them in the postseason a couple years ago. Now, luckily for the Cubs, they didn't have to face the Mets. I'm not saying they would have lost to the Mets in a series, but with the Mets healthy and that pitching, that could be the equalizer against that Cubs team, and there's no doubt the Mets are in their head after what they did even in the regular season last year. So the Cubs got their championship. They were by far the better team, but with the Mets starting pitching, if that stays intact, that could be the equalizer in the National League that people are overlooking. They'll look at the Giants or they'll look at the Nationals. they look at the Dodgers, as you said. Yeah. Watch out for the Mets if they stay healthy. A lot of big ifs there, but that's the one team that I would be a little concerned about from a Cubs perspective because of the pitching. That's a great point, especially because last year was the year for the Mets to all get hurt, so this year right. should be the year that they stay healthy. Correct. Not that it's supposed to go that way, but it, you know, more than likely will. Well, correct, and remember in 2015, the Cubs were red hot. They just buzzed through every, you know, the wild card game. They buzzed through the first round. Mm -hmm. They get into the NLCS, and everybody's like, oh my goodness, Schwarber and Bryant and Rizzo, look, look at what they're going to do. I mean, this young team is ready to go to the World Series, and the Mets swept them right they swept them so mm -hmm. that that was a big you know sign to me about the pitching being better than the offense yeah the Mets are built better offensively now than they were a few years ago too yeah the Cubs have a lot of young guns in the field but on the mounds some of their pitchers are uh, 
little up in age there, so we'll have to see yeah. how that factors. They're good, in too. but still yeah. not not the young studs the Mets have. Right. Potentially. Uh, did you give the under over under? What are you doing? I'm going under. Under. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. I just want to make sure. Uh, yeah, I just think that that enough uh, has changed around baseball in order to give the the Cubs a little bit more of a run for their money. Okay.